You what is wrong with you today, dude? You. Camera's rolling. This guy's irritating the fuck out of me right now. Anyway. But don't but don't 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 think about him. Okay, yeah, but he's getting in my mind right now. Is he? Yeah, so just switch just Let's start. switch gears, you ready? Yeah, I want to Well, I don't know if I can shift that quickly. Yeah, you can. In here, we pour whisk 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 whisk. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I mean it once again, Mr. Bobby Lee. Robert E. Lee is your full name. Yes. Uh, you are a great-grandson of Robert E. Lee, the Confederate soldier, correct? Yes. Great-grandson or great-great-grandson? What? Greater grandson or great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-great-
I know. All right. The audience knows that. Okay. Everyone's heard that before. You've Listen, got a beautiful, my, I, wonderful, I, lovely I just say something? girlfriend. I, 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 my, my energy <sighs> when I came over here was so negative. Yeah, but you're, you're good now. You I don't think fun. I am. So I just need a second Let's to like second. catch up. Okay. You're just, you're, you're, you're just, you're so what if I sing fast you a song? mentally. What if I sing you a song? Sing me a song. You ready? Yeah. We could stop. Okay. Before you go, you can't be, please don't do no Asian bullshit. No, I promise I won't. Because it really hurts my Look feelings. Look at me, I swear to God on my life. Okay, go ahead. You know it doesn't hurt your feelings. We're, we're very close friends. Don't pretend yeah, like Yeah, but you then hurt. you, you go ah, like that and I don't like it. <laughs> well, what, you, why are you laughing at that? No, because ready? That's your impression of Asian. <laughs> no, that's not. My, I have a pretty good impression. Okay, anyway, don't do it. All right, you ready? Yeah. This is my song for Go you. Ahead. Just relax and get in a better mood. I'm completely relaxed. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here, walking down the street <laughs> with the, my hey friend. Doesn't that make you happy? Yeah. Making me happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The idea of you walking down the street. Yeah. Makes well, the me song goes happy. like this. Oh yeah, tell me what the because you did it on your podcast. Yeah, the song goes like this. Dun, dun, dun. Me walking down the street, feeling so good to me. Yeah, yeah, having fun with my friends, with my friends. to the end. To the end. Do 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 me walking down the street. That's how it goes. God, that's so sweet. It's good. Uh, I'm gonna record. Oh, you did it again. You ripped it all twice. You're gonna record what? I'm gonna re record that song. You, are you gonna do it too? I really am. I'm gonna write the music and then record it. And you, we were joking before, your brother has, the, has a band. Would he do the music for you? I can write the music. What does he do? What does he play, I mean? My brother sings and raps. Does he play an instrument too? No. Yeah, I fucking love your brother. You know I've always loved your brother. Do you, are you being real? Have you done the show yet? No, but he's never asked. I've never bothered him. He, but you, you would do it? I, 100%. His, you know, his YouTube shows are doing good. I'm sure they are. Do you know how much we had so much fun when we went to? Uh, should, should I say the name of a restaurant that we really like? Or no? Should I yeah, not blow it up? Should I? Yeah. Say it. Park's finest. Oh, the Filipino. So good. You like it there? Oh, I loved it. Really? I've been there a few times since then. You, no, being are you being I real? Swear to God, you came to my birthday party, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why. That's why I got that. Uh, that place was so low key good that I've taken two other people there. Yeah. It's so good. It's mixed. It's 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 half Filipino food and half. Just regular white people food. White people shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's cool because the food's good there. It's simple. There's not a lot on the menu. And um, it's it's still, you could, if you like Southern barbecue, yeah. you can still, in your mind, you know, justify it. Sure, yeah, yeah. You yeah. don't have, if you, if you, if if you're someone who's not adventurous and someone says, oh, I don't know if I like Filipino food, you could take them there and go, it's not Filipino food. Yeah, but you know what? I don't hang out with people like that. I've, you know, I, I've, I've taken girls out on dates before Kalila when I used to date. And if they are, if they're weird about food. Yeah. You know, it's like, this is what I love about Asian chicks, okay? White chicks. Yeah. They ask what it is before. White chicks go, where are we going? Or what is this? What is What this? are we eating? Is and I go, duck? it's it's mongoose shoulders. <gasps> and they won't eat it. Is that legal? Yeah, right? And they won't eat it. Asian chicks eat it first. And they go, what did I just eat? That's cool. And then you're like, mongoose shoulder. Mongoose shoulders. Oh, it's go, good. Oh, I've had that before. Yeah. They have the balls. I've I'll eat the uh, mongoose balls right now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Happy. Well, white, white. It's a lot of white chicks when they're not adventurous in that way. Yeah, I can't do it. You just get, you write them off. What, like, you know, there's a couple of comics like this. You know, this black kid named Trey. He works at the comedy store. He's a skinny white black dude. What about him? Do you know him? I mean, I don't know him on a personal level. But do you know who I'm talking about? Sure. He he lives with Asan and that other yeah, black yeah, guy, yeah. Derek. Sure, 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 sure. So the other day. He was opening for me. It was in San Diego. We went to a nice restaurant. And then out comes calamari. Right? Just regular old fucking calamari. No, not fried? Yeah, fried. Okay. You know, with the, you know they, they look like, like the rings and they have Yeah, the you don't have to get it fried, though. Some people eat it not fried. No, I, I, I've eaten it in different, different ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay, so it comes out. Calamari. Comes out, comes out. What, am, I, am I not telling the story fast enough? No, I you? didn't mean to interrupt you. I was being polite. Yeah, but what you're doing right now, I like. I cut you off. No, keep doing it. I cut you off. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I love you so much. I don't know why I love you, Let's but see. so oh. the calamari comes out and he mm -hmm. got he just stares at it. And I go, "Eat it." He goes, uh, "Yeah, man, I don't know what it is." So what? I go, yeah, first of all, I'm going to tell you what it is, but you're going to eat it anyway." He goes, "I depends on what it is." I go, "It's calamari." He goes, "I've never heard of that." Did you lie to him and tell him something else? No, I told him it's, you know, it's calamari. It's calamari. We explained to him what it is. He goes, 
I've never eaten seafood in my life. What? He's never had shrimp? How do you not have shrimp? Or lobster and any of All that right. shit? All right. What? You're going to make me say something racist. What, is, is it, what? I've never met one black dude that doesn't like seafood. In, in the history of my life. <laughs> Well, what? I've never met a black dude. Every black friend I have loves seafood. Yeah. Every black friend I have. Once they seafood. have it. No, dude. Every black friend I know grew up with it. Right. It's just seafood is like a, a seafood. I feel like I know more whites that are snotty about seafood. Because what you're saying right now to me mm. sounds crazy. Because I, I always imagined the opposite. Dude. It's like this is what what I heard. This to is, you, you just listen. No, black listen. people don't like seafood? No, yeah. Listen it, it, to when you, when you go to the South. But listen to this. Listen okay, to this. Ahead. Okay. It's like you saying this. Okay. All my black friends know how to swim. Well, you know that's not true. Oh, but that's what I'm saying. That's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm telling you right now. Every black dude I know. I don't know any black guys that eat seafood. No way. Yeah, it's crazy to me. I'm trying to think of one that we have mutual friend in common. Yeah. But a few that I know, two are vegan. Yeah, Ian Edwards is vegan. Yeah, he doesn't. He eat doesn't eat anything. anything. I've I had dinner with him. It's irritating. I, you know what? He actually turned me on to Veggie Grill. And I, I had I've had that before. I him. like veggie grill; it's fine. That's what I mean. But I'm, I'm saying that, yeah. that he could. I he doesn't have to turn him. you on to it. It's just, there's just a chain. Well, dude, I was against all that shit. You were. I don't like tofu. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I don't like fake chicken. <laughs> yeah, chicken. Yeah. I don't like chicken. I don't like fake versions of the real thing. Right. The biggest problem I have with all that stuff is that they shape meat to look like it's real meat. They mm. shape fake. Why? Yeah. I don't like that. I think uh, they're making like uh, when they. Um, it's when they clone the meat now, uh, would you eat that? No. I oh. just need the real thing. Right. I want the real thing or nothing at all. Yeah, but it just makes me sad. I mean, we are hurting these animals. What do you No, we're not. We're killing them. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're, yeah, but that hurts when you get, get killed. For, and then it's over. Quick and then it's I know, done. but it's still that initial. So is that it's okay to kill just the, anything that's alive? Things that we need for nutrition, yeah. Yeah, but we, we can survive without it. Who can? <laughs> Humans. Why do you have teeth? To chew vegetables. To tear through flesh. <laughs> yeah, vegetables. That's why we have teeth. To tear through flesh. Is that why? Literally, that's why we have teeth. So oh, so if like if we, we were just herbivores, tear. if herbivores, is that yeah, we, like we, deers, we, right? We, we, Let me we, just ask you, fuck nut. Yeah. Deers have teeth. Yeah. Do they eat meat? No. Exactly. But they but they have little baby bullshit teeth. <laughs> they we do. Grew, oh. We grew real teeth. I didn't know you were a zoologist. I'm a zoologist. A zoologist. No, but is that real? So it's like... Um, we have teeth so we can chew through muscle and flesh. Right. But, but let's... Okay, let's say this. Then someone could say, then a vegetarian or a vegan would say, oh yeah, but we've advanced now and we don't need to do that to stay alive in the food chain. We're mm. already at the top. Mm. My argument is, that's fine. We don't need to do a lot of things that we continue to do. Mm. I, I like it. Right. Do I think there's ethical treatment of animals, animals that should be done for me to eat food? Sure. Mm. Do I also think there should be world peace? Yeah, like what the fuck? Cause, well, let me ask you another question. Too big. The let me ask you another big. question. Yeah, yeah. Um, are you against the Yulin Dog Eating Festival? Am I against it? Yeah. Is it a festival where everybody eats dogs? Yeah. In where? Yulin, China. Yulin. <laughs> Ni Wong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's this thing called the Yulin Dog Eating Festival. And they just eat dog. What breed though? Well, that's the thing. That if, matters. If, if you look at photos, you can't eat like a golden videos, retriever. I'd be upset. Vi videos. Yeah. And they boil golden retrievers alive, no. alive, and they steal it from people's houses. Wow! But there are poor people. Yeah, and they need it. And they need it. And so, with that justification, is that okay? One hundred percent. Here's it, it, why. It's it's it, it's why. so funny that you say that. Fuck. It's not my culture. I'll, I'll, can I say something? Yeah. I guarantee you. Yeah. Because I have videos of the way they treat these dogs. If you can look at these videos from beginning to end, mm -hmm. then I will believe you. But I don't think you can. Let They're me, fucking heartbreaking. Listen, listen you, we both have dogs. I tell you how much. I, I have three dogs. I love animals. Okay, you know that. Well, let's just say it out loud. You just said it, right? I love animals. I love animals I love as animals. well. But uh -huh. that's not my culture. And those people are starving. I have no right to say what's wrong or right over in their culture. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Wow. Do I think it's cool? Yeah. Do I like it? No. I don't think you should cook golden retrievers. You can cook chihuahuas. I don't like those fucking dogs anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I just think like, if I'm being serious, who am I to step into a culture thousands of years older than my culture mm. and say the way you've been doing it for thousands of years is wrong? 
Well, because we live in the modern age, though. I don't have, but that's because not the, in my Peru, job. I know, but in Peru, in Peru, huh? there used to be a cat eating festival. Cool. I fucking hate cats. I love cats. Eat them all. Eat I them love all. them. Eat them all. Eat they're, them all. They're, they're my, I am part cat. No, that's, that's when they see your redhead and fucking ugly face. I go, get the fuck out of here. And they I go, don't, no, no, no. <laughs> but eventually they said, what are we doing this for? Why are we eating cats? Yeah, and they stopped it. If they have access to other food. But if these other poor people don't have access to other food, yeah, I'm, they can eat other things. Maybe they love the taste of dog. Have you ever tasted golden retriever? Well, here's a th- he, let me, let me have say. Have you that ever tasted golden retriever? Anyone that's been, I've I've talked to veterans of World War II, mm-hmm. and, not World War II, Korean War. My bad, <laughs> the Korean War. It's such a big difference. I've talked to veterans of World War II. I'm, I'm sorry, the Cold War. I've talked to veterans. Of the Cold <laughs> can I just War. say this? Let me. It. it and anyone listening to right now, okay, I'm not a historian, but this is what this is what I know for a fact. Yeah. World War II. Mm-hmm. What was the war right after World War II? What the American War? The war. Amer- no, the war, wars that America has fought in. Right, we fought in World War II. Well, correct? We had the Gulf War. No, but what was the war right after that? After World War II. Yeah, the Korean War. Right. Yes. So I, it's not that far of a stretch. What is it? When I said World War II, and I meant to say Korean War, they're pretty close next to no, each other. No, one of them was a war involving the world, and the other one was us and the Koreans. Big, big difference. One of them had Hitler. Remember that guy? Dude, <laughs> I swear to God, dude, if you were a teacher and yeah. you talked to me like that... Yeah. You hear how I talk to you as a teacher? I would literally walk out of the classroom. Okay, how about this? Here, we'll do a teaching exercise. Say, Mr. Santino, ask me, hey, what's the difference between World War II and the Korean War? Ask me, as your teacher. Mr. Santino. Oh, yes, Robert, yes. Um, I was wondering, mm-hmm. what's the difference between um, World War II and Korean War? <laughs> Everybody laugh at this <laughs> stupid fucking <laughs> Korean kid. Get out of here, you <laughs> dipshit. <laughs> I don't think you would do that. I would never. Yeah, yeah. I could never be a teacher, though. I give them enough. I give them a lot of credit. But anyway, let me go back to the Korean War fucking thing. So but my point, you've though, you've spoken to people who were in the Korean War. Yes, and they veterans. say, and they say, they, they because back I mean, soldiers, American soldiers, mm-hmm. ate dog meat out there because they had to. Yeah, not because they and, wanted and they, to. And they and and if they all said it was great meat. Yeah, that's number one. And number two, yeah, and just a little history lessons. To you racists out there. Oh, those guys. Yeah. Yeah. The word, the word gook mm-hmm. comes from the Korean War. We talked about this. I know. So I'm just going to throw you out that out. I don't, I don't want to go into detail about but it. We, but we, 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 didn't, we never talked about this on anything that got out. That's on our unreleased episode. Oh, I have not talked about it? Do you know a lot of fans hit me up about our unreleased episode and I say we'll never let it out? I'd like to listen to it though. I'll I'll give it to you. Yeah, yeah. But but tell me tell me the meaning of the word gook. You told me what it meant. Well, people think that gook comes from the Vietnam War. No, but it comes from the Korean War. Yes. Okay, I I do remember this. So um. Wait wait. You you explain it to me the way you remember it. I think you told me. Um, this is gonna get taken out of context. Santino says gook on lot. <laughs> you told me <laughs> that gook meant yeah. me gook me gook yeah means. A, 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 white or American. American? American. Yeah. So when they would see American soldiers, they would say, Mi Guka, Mi Guka, Mi which guka. was like, the Americans are here. Yeah. Warning the village. No, not warning. They're just It's just a thing like... Was it mocking? No, it's like if, if like, let's say Romulans, mm-hmm. right, was helping us, you know, LA fight the Russians. Sure. And a Romulan walked through a village or Los Feliz. Yeah. We'd be like, oh, dude, Romulan. No. You just you would just point and say... You, why would you just point? I would never like... A group of like Mexican guys isn't sitting in East LA in Boyle Heights and then sees like a, a Chinese guy walk through and they're not like, Chinese! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, yes, it would be. If you'd never seen one before, sure. That was the preface. You needed to con- you need to preface that by the yeah. Way. Well, they, they've never seen American soldiers ever. So how do they even know what Miguel was then? Because you they like we we've never met a dinosaur, right? We have a word for it, right? Who hasn't met a dinosaur? You. Well, 
You're looking at. I've never met your mom. Is that what you're saying? <gasps> mm, she's got a big dinosaur pussy. Your mom. Whoa. What does she have? Big dinosaur pussy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Keep chalking this Jurassic. Up. When these are off. Yeah. Jurassic hole. Uh-huh. That's what we all call it. But your mom was a pterodactyl for sure. She's fine. Flying through the air. Yeah. She's a fucking loosey goosey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's your family. Yeah. Birds. Fuck you, man. Fucking bitch. I love you. Love you, dog. So me anyway, was yelled at the Americans because yes. they were Americans. Yeah. And then Americans took it back and racistly threw it at Asians. Go- yeah. Calling us gook. Which is really strange because it's not offensive. Then. It's not. So we're calling. So people that say that, not we, not me, they're calling Asians Americans. Yeah. That's kind of nice. It is kind of nice, but it's all in context, right? Like, so you we know, should say it more. Like, I think that the N word. Which word? The N word. Nice. No. No. The Nintendo? word no. Nintendo. Nintendo. No. Um. The N word. You know, What's friends. Up? Black up? friends talk to each other. Right, they say the end. And they go, what's up, my Nintendo? Right. Hey, what's up, Nintendo? And they're like, what's up, Nintendo? Nintendo? Right, 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 right. Right. But then there are other situations where they go, let's hang that Nintendo. Let's hang that Nintendo. (laughs) Why? Why, Bill? Why, Bill? Because he's a Nintendo. You fixing to hang a Nintendo? Yeah, he's a porch Nintendo. Did you see what happened? What happened? We turned our back for 10 minutes and done Nintendo's moved in. <laughs> yeah. You know what we got to do? What we got to do? Hang them the motherfuckers. I'm kicking out them Nintendo. I'll go over to that Nintendo's house right now. Yeah. I'll tell them, listen I, here, I'll Nintendo. Tell, I'll tell you how we catch them. We take a bunch of bananas <laughs> oh, <shit>. and some crack. <laughs> right? I, you, what, you know what I invented? <laughs> crack? Crack dipped in watermelon juice. <laughs> <laughs> Is that out? By the way, these are. Do we just, have to cut that out? No, these are just characters. These are characters, and we're doing. We're scenario. mocking but racist is that, people. Is that going to get cut out of the podcast? No, leave that in. That can okay, good. Why? Because we're mocking racist people. Yeah, we are mocking. Yeah, we're them. mocking yeah, racist we're people. Mocking, yeah, but yeah, it's just about like so when if it, you know if a, an Asian guy calls me a gook, it doesn't offend me, but it just depends on what you're. But your it, but intention it's not. Is. But the N word is used in the black community as a term of endearment. That's, That's not. Right. But but gook doesn't is not used in the, as a term we of should, endearment. We should. We should. Would you like to for real? Yeah. Is that something that you think would work? Like if if you called me a gook, but with like a um, no, see, I would no, but though. ending with like a hard, if you ended it with a hard K. Yeah, if I was like that'd be weird. Yeah. But if you went, ah, at the end, gua. What's up, my gua? Yeah, 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 that'd be good, that'd be good. That'd be fine. <laughs> Can we do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gua, yeah, right. White people don't have enough, well, they don't have any rape, racial epithets, and that's kind of lame. Like, every other race has racial epithets, but white people are such <sighs> assholes about it. We don't have any. Yeah, I, I Like, you can't, I, like, cracker doesn't hurt me. I think about why you guys like to occupy people's lands. What is it inside you that don't wants to Don't put me like in this category as if I did. Colonize it. other places. Why did whites do that? Yeah, because you look at, they did it, the English did it in India. First they, of all, you guys did it in. Everybody did it. It's all religion, if you want to break it down. Everyone, every, everything is based on religion. Land and separation, colonization, that's all religion. Right, there's two types, there's two people that did it though. Two men in the No, whole two world? types of people, like oh, um, oh, what were they? races, I guess. Two, two races. Yeah, whites. Okay. And the Japanese did it. Did they? Oh, they're they're huge at colonizing. They did it in Japan, Korea. Right. right. They love to oppress and take over. Well, the British were the best. And then we showed them, man, right? (laughs) Yeah, kaboom. Kaboom, dude. In your face, nippy. (laughs) (laughs) No, that was awful. Tell me something. Yeah. Do you think do you think Asia is more racist? to other Asian cultures than America? You know that to be true, dude. You know that to be true, and you're just asking me that question so that you can catch me saying something. Time out. Do you think America's America's still really racist? Do you think there's a lot of racism still here in America? I think so, yeah. Tons. Yeah. Do you think it's more than it used to be? When you were a kid, do you feel like it was more racist then or now? Oh, it was more racist then. It was. Because then... I think it's different racist. I think it's just... It was a different kind of racism. Secret racism now. Yeah, it's it's bubbling up to the surface, and yeah. it was because of eight years of Obama. Because you hated him, and you I t- loved you Obama. Told me I voted for him twice. I don't you know voted the, for Trump. No, I voted for Obama. You twice. told me you voted against no, Obama not, twice, true. and you said true. you voted for Trump. That's crazy. But you are a big Trump guy. No, I hate him. Now you're a big Trump guy. No, you are. You are now. Well, why do you have the bumper sticker on your car? 
MAGA. What do you mean you gave that to me? <laughs> I thought that was a nice... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's again. Hold on. Why does that keep coming? Is it just popping out? Yeah. It's just sensitive. It's a sensitive thing, yeah. Yeah, I think it's bubbling up to the surface and it's like... Um, I honestly... Can I ask you a question, though? Mm-hmm. How does anybody... I, okay, I get in the beginning... Let's vote for him. You think like, oh, you're, you're, you're saying like Republicans were like, yeah, dude, this guy's he could be good. Well, no, I think people maybe voted for as a goof or like they just hated Hillary. So they're going to vote for. Well, I think a lot Trump. of people hated, hated voted him because they hated Hillary. Exactly. Right. I believe that, too. But, but that happens they, a lot in elections. People well, vote for the other person. Right. They can't stand. But how at this point mm-hmm. are people behind this guy? <sighs> because I mean, he's obviously. Here's why. why. Here's how. Have you ever put together furniture by hand? Yeah, like from Ikea? Right. Yeah. Okay. Once you've gotten to like the third to last piece and you know you fucked up, you you won't start the piece over. You're not going to deconstruct the table. That's a very funny thing. You're just going to be like, we're going to go with this cabinet. That's a very funny thing. It's think. missing a slider, but we're just going to stick at the fuck Right. Up. That's why. Right. If you've invested so much into something, people have more... People have more... Um, anxiety about admitting they were wrong than just going deeper into a hole of being completely wrong by going no no fuck fuck it well fuck you then it's easier to for people to to get defensive about being wrong than it is about them to admit their faults yeah have you ever heard the phrase it's better to um beg for forgiveness than to ask for permission do you know Mm -hmm. that phrase Mm -hmm. well that's like the american way is like you keep fucking it up keep fucking it up keep fucking it up consciously and it's better off that way for you than it would be if you said if you ask because if you ask they'll say no. It kind of reminds me of Jeffrey Dahmer and his dad. He was such a funny dude, Jeffrey. Dahmer. Oh yeah, anyway, he had he, such his impressions stuff. so good. He did a dead on impression of Ted Bundy. <laughs> 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 if you know that Ted Bundy and his Ed Gein. His Ed Gein. Was oh good. my dead on. I've seen it. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever see um, uh, <laughs> Ted Kaczynski's SNL audition? It was so good. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> it blew up. It was so good. <laughs> no, but um. Like Dahmer, just to the to the end of you know, when he was in prison, his dad yeah. stuck by him the whole time. Because 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 it, of there's like I made him. Yeah. You know, it's weird when parents stick by crazy when their when their kids go nuts and they're like, I think that they're getting misjudged. This isn't who they are. And you're like, they shot up a fucking middle school, and they're like, that's not who he really is. Right. Yes, well, it is. But even but yeah, I know exactly. But even with Dahmer's case, he even is like he's crazy. Yeah. He's a bad guy. I love him. He's my son. Do you think you would be like that with your son? I. Uh, yeah. You do. Well, it's like my dog Julio. Your dog Julio. Julio. Julio from gang, like no, Gangster's Paradise. No, Julio would like a Mexican. And spending Julio. most of life living <laughs> no, no. in a Julio. Gangster's Paradise. No, 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 no. no. Your dog hey, is bro. Julio. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Yeah, that guy. That's Julio. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. Julio. Hey, bro. So hey, Julio, feed me, dog. Yeah, Julio is mm. the worst dog I could ever have. He bites people. Fine. You know, he's uh, he barks twenty four seven. But does he only bite people that deserve to be bitten? No, he's he, bites he has anybody. no. He's just a bad dog, and Your I've had. Have never attacked me. I know because you you're a beast master ah, in that way. That's right. So Julio bites. But if you fear, if they sense, if Julio sense any kind of fear, he just he pounces. Yeah. He's just a bad little guy, right? Yep. But I love him. Yeah. Because I raised him since he was like a tiny little puppy, and the re- we had a guy come over. If he killed a baby. You're walking Julio, walking down the street. Yeah. You're walking Julio. Yeah. And a woman is like, oh, look at that dog. And she's, skeek, 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 skeek. Got a little baby in a little carriage. And, and she's like, oh, can we pet your dog? And you're like, uh, Julio's a little, a little giant. She goes, oh, come on, it's not that big of a, and he goes, and rips the baby's head right off mm. of its body. Mm. And you both are sitting there, <gasps> and on Julio's, <laughs> and he's fucking got the baby's neck, is <laughs> flopped off, and he's biting it to death. <laughs> yeah. And the woman's like, yeah, you piece of shit, you're not, I don't know. Are you going to defend the dog? No, I'm going to say, I'm so fucking sorry. I'm going to feel guilt over it and shame. Because the baby's shame. dead. I'm going to feel guilt but and it's a, shame. It's a white baby, by the way. Oh, it's the worst. <laughs> oh, my God. Now I'm even, because I was imagining like, you know, a Filipino baby. Right. It wasn't as harsh. Right, it's either, a white but baby. But it's a white baby. So do you care less now? No, I, I it would care either, even whatever baby it was, what kind. You'd be hurt either way. It would be devastating. But if they say you have to put Julio down, would and you I would, like, no I way? would agree. I would agree because it's not as if Jeffrey Dahmer's dad is like he doesn't deserve to be in prison. He's like he deserves that. He just so still he, loves him. He still. So I would be there at wherever at the when they pound when they put him down. 
but and you're I was, like he and I'd be it's okay Julio it's, and I'd cry I love you Julio it's okay Julio and then he goes and he dies right and then I'd, I it would be devastating but I would be there you would yeah but, and I would apologize to this person for life do you think an, do you think do you think animals have have the answers to the universe they have answers yeah do you think so no dipshit do you think so I just said no dipshit they don't have no answers I think a dog knows. I'll tell you why I know how that that's not know, true. How come they know when earthquakes are about to happen, or when lightning is earth, or when rain is going to come? Because maybe they're they, they, because why are they, they could, more connected. They're not. It's not that they're connected. It's just that they have their ears. They can hear things. And they can smell for miles. Yeah, they, but that's because of hunting and all that shit. I know, but they don't need those traits anymore. Why do they still have them? That's why we don't have tails. That's all gone. So why can they still hear and smell so well? <laughs> <laughs> like when I get in the elevator with my dog. Yeah. And we go into this. Uh, imagine being, you, a dog has no concept. Of being in an elevator. Being in an elevator. He doesn't know how it works. Well, neither do I, to be fair. Yeah, but you know that you're, it move, it's, you, know, you know that it's moving up and down. That's kind of what he rooms. knows as far as I'm concerned. My what dog do knows it goes up and down. I don't think he knows that. You think it just gets in a room and it takes I think it to he, a new place? I think he gets in a room. Mm -hmm. He thinks you're a magician. Yeah. The door closes, and when it opens, you're in a different place. I feel the exact same way. Excuse me? That's exactly how I feel when I get in an elevator. <laughs> really? I get into an elevator. I get into a box, uh -huh. and I go to a new place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you, he just accepts it. He accepts it. Yeah. Do you clean up your dog shit? Something tells me you leave it often. In the house? Does your dog shit in the house, Bobby? Sometimes. Your dog poops inside? It has. It has had, had accidents. And what do you do? Do you make him I eat it? I fucking clean it. Oh. Do you make him eat it or rub it his face in no, it? No, I don't do any of that. Are you saying outside? Yeah, outside. Do you leave it? Yeah. Every time? I've never cleaned it. <laughs> such a, you're such an asshole. What? You're just leaving poop all over Are the place? Are you out of your fucking mind right now? You're going to clean up poop. It's called fertilization, bro. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It stays there forever. You don't think that... It you don't takes think so long for dog shit to break down. You don't because think th there's so much rich protein in their diet. Exactly, and you don't think the little grass beads like it. They don't. They love it. It kills grass. I know, but the next generation. When people see you leave the dog shit, don't the they next give generation you a look? of grass loves it. Oh, so you're thinking about the future? Yes. When people see you do that, don't they go, "Hey, clean that up"? And I pretend I don't even know English. I don't. I don't. I don't. Not, I don't, I don't yeah, yeah. I don't. This is a wag. I yeah. work for a wag. Yeah. Because I see other shits in the, in, the, in the grass. Oh, so if they do it, it's okay for you to do it. it it's fine. That's an interesting way. I bet Kalila cleans that shit up. Yeah, she brings those little thin bags. Yeah, poop I, bags. Yeah, I don't know how they're open. I don't even know how to open them. One end is open and the other end. I can't Have you ever gone it. grocery shopping? I can't open them. Have you ever gone grocery shopping? I'm your guest, dude. What's your tone about right now? Have dude? you gone Check grocery it. shopping? Check your tone, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have gone grocery. Let me talk about something happy and, 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 and exciting. Yeah. Everybody knows you're a big soccer fan. Yeah. Are you excited? About what? Soccer season? It's, a, it's been going on. It's in the middle of it right now. Yeah. Are you excited for Arsenal? N not really. I, why, why are you talking to me about the soccer? You don't know I'm anything a about it. I'm a huge soccer fan. You do? Huge. What team do you support? Fskiefsk. <laughs> oh, really? They're great. Yeah, no, Fskiefsk. I, it's 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 a topic that I don't want to talk to you about because like, you don't know anything about I it. I like I like scolding FC. What's scolding FC? You don't know scolding England? No. You've never heard of scolding FC? No. They're phenomenal. They're not in the Premier League. Pika is there? Yes. Pika is no, there. No, they're he's, not in the Premier League. Lithuania. He, they're not in the Premier League. Jenny Mai is there. Jenny Mai is not a guy. Jenny Mai. Oh, Jenny Mai. He's Micah Jenny Mai. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the manager's name? Uh, to Toklosk. Big fat British. Yeah, guy. he's great. Too close. Yeah, too yeah. close is great. <laughs> Mumbai, Mumbai. Mumbai, Mumbai. Yeah, Mumbai, Mumbai is great. He's from phenomenal. Nigeria. He's phenomenal. He's phenomenal. Good phenomenal. midfielder. But I can't believe he's blind. A blind he is soccer blind. player is yeah, crazy to me. Yeah, that's true. But he has the senses of a dog. If you could have been a pro athlete in any sport, what would it have been? Soccer. Really? Yeah, because I, uh, my honest feeling is, is that it's the best sport ever created. Mm -hmm. I hate... 90 minutes nonstop. I hate football. American football. Uh-huh. It, when I watch, I don't like the fans. That's pretty broad. There's a lot of people that like football. I you, don't like the fans. You don't like anybody that watches football. That are gung ho now. Like yeah, I have, I, I, I used to have a friend. I used to have a friend that had everything was like a 
grayish star because of the Dallas sure. the tattoos. The but whole I, that's thing. like saying I don't like people that are gung ho about anything. If you're gung ho about anything, I'm a little weirded out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, yeah, but that's not that's just that's not just football. But they specific like what about but they're but but soccer fans are nuts, dude. There's some soccer fans that are fucking like yeah. Hooligans. Because I'll t- I'll, can I tell you why though? Yeah, why are they justified? Because it's so deeply rooted into their culture. culture. So is American football. Not as no, because the thing is, is that look at England, for instance, right? Ugh, it's the, to look at. Go ahead. Or, or or it's it's a sport that the world is playing. Yeah. So China, Russia, and all that stuff has a lot of leagues, right? But on top of that, in in England specifically, the sport has been there since the 1800s. Sure. Right. Generations upon generations. So has American football. I understand that, but there's like a bunch of sports that America's like. They like baseball, baseball, baseball basketball, basketball, football. Right. There's a lot of things that they like. Right. And it's not as integrated into their culture. Well, we're just we just have a lot of different sports because we're more dynamic. Also, England is such a smaller place. It's a right? tiny little spot, and every little town like has a football club. Scalding FC. Whatever. That's not a real thing. Yes, it is. They're, they Scalding FC is a real team. What league are they in, though? Scandinavian league. Ah, yakatai. Yakatai. Ah, yakatai. Anyway, anyway, I don't want to talk about soccer anyway because I, if I, if I, uh, I'm not being mean about it. I just it doesn't mean anything to me, but I wanted to hear your thoughts on it because I don't think a lot of people know that you're a big fan of soccer. I'm a big Arsenal FC fan. Yeah, people I, don't know that. I, I think people love. Might think you're you like soccer a little bit. You've talked about it. No, I just I'm obsessed with the team. I know everything about the team. I know. Um, Who's the worst player on the team? Carl Jenkinson. Fucking Jenkinson. Yeah. Is he a white guy? Mm-hmm. He's a right back, I believe, and he doesn't play that often. But when he does, but he, he loves. Shits he, the bed. No, it's not that. That it's not that. It's just that he's just not world class. You know, he doesn't deserve to be on Arsenal. No, he's a huge Arsenal fan, and he's very talented. It's just that you know he's no Bellerin or you know nobody's Bellerin, bud. He's cute. He's a cutesy patootsy. I know. I love him. He's on the national Spanish team. He's great. See, that's what I like. Did about you see you. Bird Box? No. You know why? Why? I have, I have a thorough level of anxiety in my life. I have extreme anxiety. I have bad anxiety, like clinical depression and anxiety. And my anxiety is really, really bad. Like it keeps me up for days. And it's so bad that if I watch a movie like that, I might kill myself. Okay, can I say this? Watching that, what the trailer gave me such anxiety, it, I had heartburn. Because it was like, <laughs> blindfold in the woods. It's too much. Okay, can I too say much. something? Mm-hmm. I'm a huge Sandra Bullock fan. Are you? I like her. What's your favorite Sandy movie? I mean, I enjoy Blind her. Blindside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite one. <laughs> you just love her. I just like her. She, I think she's likable. In this movie, she's phenomenal, I've heard. She's great in it. I, I love John Malkovich. Huge fan. Yeah, he's in it too. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's a piece of shit. Oh, f- everybody they should call it shitbox. Shitbox. It's terrible. So you're the because people like that. No, movie. I don't know who. Who are these people? Forty six million, according to Netflix. no people saw it. Yeah, a lot of people. Watched My it. girlfriend and I turned it on, right? And you know, it's one of those things where you're like, this is good. You look at each other and go, this "Ooh, is good. this is good." Yeah, you get excited. Thirty minutes in, it's good, right? Forty five minutes in, what's going on? <laughs> did, did they? There's a script, right? You whisper. Mm-hmm. An hour in. This is fucking terrible. Let's finish it. <laughs> hour and a half in. I fucking want to kill myself. There's two hours of this film? Dude, it doesn't make any fucking sense. But you finished it. Yeah. Is the end a good Because payoff? of the fact, no. That's no. what fucked me up too. Yeah. The ending? Yeah. You're not going to tell me what it is! <laughs> You're not going to tell me what it is! Oh my God! <laughs> it was like that. That's how mad you got. Yeah. Furious. You don't. You have to tell me what it is. But they didn't. They didn't. It's like watching Jurassic Park. And you. And an hour and a half in, you're like, there's no dinosaurs! <laughs> <laughs> there's no dinosaurs! That's what it was like. Yeah. Yeah. So you would. Watch Star Wars. So you would. There's no Stormtrooper! You know, so you wouldn't yeah. recommend it. This is not. I, I think I'm sc- screaming too much. Sorry. That's fine. Everyone's working here. I apologize. No, they don't care. The bit's done. Hey. The screaming bit's done. So you wouldn't recommend Shitbox? You should watch it. (laughs) (laughs) 
watch it. <laughs> Can I tell you I walked out of a movie? What movie? Put that below you so it doesn't block your pretty face. Um, I watched. I walked out of a movie, and I'm not talking shit, but I felt so bad because I love both of these guys. But I took my little sister and my mom and dad to see Watson and Holmes, Holmes and Watson, Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. Great. It was great. So bad. It got a six on Rotten Tomatoes. Six percent. Six. My God. We had to leave. We you walked, left. Yeah, I walked out. I, I haven't walked out of a movie in like a decade. Yeah, I, and I walked out. I it have, was really bad. Yeah. And I love those guys. Yeah. It was just not there. But do you, when you go to the movie, mm. do you know you do you look at Rotten Tomatoes? That's what I did. I look at Rotten Tomatoes. I did I, this. I didn't have any plan on seeing the movie. My sister said, "Let's go see a movie." My parents were fighting. My dad is like, "Where are you going to go? Fuck it, see it. I whatever." Complaining. So yeah. we all got fine, fine. We just went at a time, and we said, "What's playing close to the time?" My little sister said, "What if we see that? That's Will Ferrell." And I said, "Ah, that doesn't look that great." And my mom said, "We'll see it." No, what you do is you Google it, I and know, you dude, see the what it got. With my parent, they're old. It's like what you just gotta do it. Right. And also, any movie I would want to see, they're not going to want to see. Yeah. Like, like, like a, we went to go see The Favorite. They didn't want us to see The Favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like... Uh, you were at home. You were in the Midwest. Back wherever in you're Chicago. From. Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they were, oh, let's go see a movie. By it, the way, it was only so, $5 to see a movie in Chicago. Wow. So when, you, when you're watching it and you're, you're seeing how bad it is, I mean, when did it get bad? My mom and beginning? my dad fell asleep within like 10 minutes. And I turned to my little sister and I was like, oh, is this bad? And she was like, this is... I'm, I don't get it. Like, we didn't get why it was so bad. I couldn't put it together because the comedy was trying. Yeah, yeah. But it's something was so deeply missing. Yeah. It was just, we so within 35, 40 minutes, maybe I we love left. I love really bad movies like that, though. Different, though. This this isn't the same. This is not that kind of good bad. Like, my, I buddy, my buddy texted me and he said, you walked out of Holmes and Watson? I said, yeah. He goes, keep in mind, you stayed for the entire Tyler Perry's Medea Boo, Chris, Boo Halloween. I stay for the whole boo, Tyler Perry's Medea boo. Yeah. And that was terrible. Yeah. But it's so bad, it's good. Yeah. This isn't so bad, it's, it's good. It's so funny that you say that because I'll watch it even when it's so bad, it's bad. Oh, how? Like there's a movie called Saving Christmas. I, uh, Saving Christmas. You know what that one is? You watch that movie. I've seen it 30 times. Why? Because I love Kirk Cameron. It's such a bad film. I know. It's so bad and it's so, it makes me feel so disgusted. When I watch it, like I hate even the props. But what do you win go watching it again? Just little details, like when Kirk Cameron drinks the hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's obviously there's nothing in it, <laughs> like this. Yeah, 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 this yeah, 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 yeah. You can see him like tip it, and there's nothing in it. But he does the acting thing where he swallows it and he pretends he enjoys it. Fuck that guy. <laughs> I fucking hate that guy so much. No, you don't. Oh, dude, if Kirk Cameron was here, I'd, I would go, go. He'd say hello. And I would look him right in the eyes and go, go, fuck yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, Kirk Cameron. If he came in right now, I'd suck his dick. <laughs> <laughs> that transition. I'm a big fan. <laughs> I'm a huge fan, Kirk. I'm yeah. not going to lie. Do you know, do you know, do you, did you ever do, we talked about jobs before, but mm. I'm interested in asking you about this. Did you ever do a job before comedy that you thought might be the rest of your life? Yeah. I mean, I used to, um, I mean, in a good way or or, or, or in, a, in a panic, like this is going to be the job. No, kind of in a good way. Like I'll give you a good example. Like I don't know if you know this, but Kurt Russell, uh, his dad bit was we got Bing Russell. is Kurt Russell's father. He was mm. a professional baseball player and mm -hmm. owned a minor league team in Portland. Kurt Russell played on that team and was going to be a pro major league ball player. And I, I got to imagine he was like, this is, I could do this forever. Mm. And the acting thing happened. Mm -hmm. His father was also an actor. But there's a piece of me that thinks... I've done a few things that I thought that was so fun. What if that I just didn't keep going at comedy and I was like, I'll just do that. Hey, did you ever have a job that you were like, mm, this is kind of tight. I might just stick it out. No, that's why I was Nothing so depressed clicked. because the thing is, is that every job that I had was hard physical work. All manual labor. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I had, I mean, waiting tables is manual labor. You're running around. It's bit I, wouldn't say, I, don't, I don't know if I call it manual labor. I mean, it's, I've done it. It's not fun. Well, I used to work at a restaurant where it was, I your section was like fifteen tables. Chilies. And they used to no, it was a nice restaurant. What was it called? It was called the Brockton Villa. Oh. In La Jolla, at the La Jolla Co. Oh my God, I know exactly where that is. Yeah, I used to work yes. there. The Brockton Villa. That's yeah. fancy. It's fancy. So I you made the, good money. Like great money. Yeah. And what I loved about it is because the the owner of the restaurant, Megan Lee, 
she, this is when I started doing stand up. And one day she calls me up in the office. She goes, Megan Lee, Chinese. No, she's Asian, white. What? Yeah. L, L, I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. First of all, Robert Ely was white. He was Chinese. No, he wasn't. He was 100% Chinese. No, he wasn't. So Megan Lee. So she, she pulled me up into the office and she goes, listen, I, I know you're doing stand up. Mm-hmm. Like you're doing like open mics and stuff. I and go, like, yeah, I'm she fucking goes, killing it. she goes, if you, if you really need a, a, a shift off, I'll let you do it day of. That's awesome. And I go, really? She's like, yeah, I, I think that you can make it. Wow. Has she, did she ever see you or just knew your personality? She just was knew so my great. personality. Yeah. And, and, for, and I, and I would go on the road. Mm-hmm. Like I'd open for Polly or something. Mm-hmm. And every time I'd come back into town, I knew I had a job. That's amazing. And, I've, Megan and, Lee. and every time I see Megan, I've seen her a couple of times since then. She came, her and her husband came to my show maybe three or four years ago in San Diego. And I walked up to her and I had tears in my eyes. And I was just, thank you. Wow, man. Yeah, she really helped me out. Megan Lee changed your life. Yeah, I, I, I remember those kind of gestures when I was struggling. And yeah. I always. But the stuff when people got in my way well, or try to fuck me, I well, remember those as well. Well, you remember those a little bit more. Me kn- knowing you, you're you're you like grudges. That's one of your favorite things. I'm a huge grudge guy, but I also do no. I, I honestly, the good gestures I remember f- for a lifetime, like when Jimmy Schubert. I tell you that story. No, but I love him. I love him too. What's his? What he did a good gesture when for I you? first moved to um, L.A. Mm-hmm. Um, my friend Kalista was getting a place in. No, no, no. What happened was. Shema Tosh. You know Shema Tosh? Daniel Tosh's sister. No. Twin sister, Shema Tosh. There was a girl named Shema Tosh, no. I don't know. She was a comic. Okay. She, she, she opens for Carrot Top in Vegas. But back in the day, Shema I knew in San Diego, and she, w- she had a roommate. He was going to move out in like three or four days. So I had three days to find a place until, and that was going to move into Shema's house. Mm. So I slept in my truck at the comedy store. And my truck had no window. Pickup truck? It was a pickup truck. A Do- white Datsun? P- Toyota. Toyota. Yeah. And it was sit there was cold. I had no money. Yeah. Absolutely no money. And one morning I get a knock on the door. The on, car door. Yeah, the car door. And I get up. <laughs> yeah. And it's Jimmy Schubert. It's like eleven. And I rolled on the well because one the one with no window was against the the wall the, where the vines are. Sure. So I open up that one the, the one they, and I go, "What's up?" Drink he goes, it. "You when's the last time you ate?" And I go, "I think yesterday, early yesterday." And he goes, "You hungry?" I go, "Yeah." He goes, "Lunch on me," and he took me to lunch. That's really cool. And I will never forget it. Yeah, and you shouldn't. That's a really cool thing. Yeah. What did you order? It was like a sandwich place, you know, sub sandwich or whatever. He didn't want to take you to somewhere nicer. It's a thought. It's a gesture. Well, sometimes. No, it is. Other times he could, he could have really stepped it up for you. I don't think he was even there to do it. He just saw me in there. Let and me tell like, you a story. It's a good gesture story. Yeah, I was walking to the comedy store. Mm. Twenty three years old. Cold. I didn't have a jacket. Sebastian Maniscalco. Walks up, he said, well, why don't you got a jacket? I said, I just, I can't afford a jacket. He goes, come on. Took me to Barney's. Bought me a leather coat that afternoon for six grand. Then took me out to the Palm for a steak dinner. Okay, if that story mm-hmm. is false, mm-hmm. it'll break me because you're, you almost have me crying. It's fake. was a fake story. Okay, can I say this? Mm-hmm. Don't do that again. Because <laughs> cause I love him. I love him. And when you said, I think the palms was a little weird, but the $6,000 jacket, maybe, <laughs> right? But then 23, I was like, how old? Because he only started making money like the last six that or seven years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So in my head, it didn't make any sense. Who's done a nice thing for me? Can I tell you? I'm yeah, really let me nice. ask you. Let me let ask me do, you. You want me to do a real one? Yeah. Even though well, I, I would. I wanted a real one before. I'll give you a real one. Now. I'll give me a real one. This wasn't even that long ago. <laughs> I don't believe you. I swear to God in my life. Good. There we go. Um, I, I was a little bit down about whatever in my life and my career. My Showtime special had come out on Showtime. 
I didn't wasn't getting a ton of traction, didn't get a lot of ad space. Showtime didn't really advertise it except for on their network. I was bummed about it. I was sad. I also like was anxious about the special. I was like, I hate that. I fucking hate that joke. I, I was ripping myself to shreds. And I had a little bit of support from the comedy community, but you know, to each their own. But I got a bing on my phone and I read the text and I went on my patio and I, sh I swear to God, I cried because it was from Bill Burr. And he just said, saw your shit. You fucking killed it. Keep doing your thing. And it, I swear to God, it meant so much to me because it was just him being nice and recognizing an accomplishment. And it, and it wasn't anything more than that. And that really did mean a lot to me because I respect him and I love him. Are you sleeping? Did you fall asleep on my fucking show? You're listening. That's it. That's great. Are you falling asleep no, on my show? that's great. You're, is my story not good? It's good. Is my story not fucking good enough for you? It just was, it was missing some elements. What was it missing? Drama. I don't know. Surprise. Okay, I got a text. I hit my old lady. There we go. The cops are on their way. There we go. I pull out my gun. There we go. I shoot my dick right off my there body. There we go. I put it in a in a pot. Are my eyes open? Huh? Are my eyes open? Well, barely. I put it in a pot. I stir the pot. <laughs> I cut up my dog. Yeah. I put that in there too. That's the a great story. No, but I'll be honest. With that was a great. The cops come to my house. I got a text message from Bill Burr. But what am I doing? I'm eating my cock and my dog, butt naked. There we go. My wife's all bruised up. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Anyway, the text was nice. That's nice. Who's Bill? <laughs> I love him. That was a word of encouragement. That was a great one. That's great. It means a lot. It's so great. That's a Do good you one. ever reach out and tell people nice shit? Bro, I'm the master of that, bro. You know that. I have a black belt in that. You've never done it to me. <laughs> Fuck you, man. You've never just texted so me out of the It's so fucking funny that you say that because <laughs> when you first came to the fucking OR, I already mm -hmm. told you this, mm -hmm. all right? You're going to fall asleep? No, go ahead. All right. No, I want to hear. Me and Chris D'Elia yeah. saw you perform. Yeah, it does. I, I, you know what? By you doing that, it made me realize what I did was wrong. Wrong and rude. And rude and wrong. And I apologize. Can you pinky me on it? And you'll never do we'll it never again? We'll never do it again. Okay. Thank you. God, you have dry fingers, huh? I know, dude. I should use lotion, but it's I don't crazy. Really care enough. But whites are weird about lotion. We yeah. don't. Do you put lotion on? No. Never have? Mm -mm. Do you just have naturally nice skin? My skin is so pure. Yeah. Evolved. I have hairless. My body's like super soft. And delicious. And you never put lotion on. I don't use lotion or any kind of creams. You what in the shower? Do you use bar soap or do you use uh, body wash? I do a combination of of things. Yeah. Bars on the feet, body on the body. No, 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 no. What do you no, use no. on your pee pee? I have a um, I have a thing that the doctor has me put on. What? I can't get into it. Please. No. Bobby, please. Andrew, no. Don't leave us hanging. I'm not leaving anyone hanging. So what is the thing that the doctor gave you you have to use to wash your penis? Go ahead. Bobby, you obviously have a medical device to wash your penis. What is it? It's from your doctor. What is it? I don't want to get into it. What is it? I don't know exactly what it's called, but I had to get go to the prescription place and get it. What was it? It's a cream. So you have to cream up your penis in the shower? Yes. Why? Because if I don't do that, it something happens. Your dick falls off? No. It gets Does it go itchy, back inside? Itchy loo, itchy loo. Oh, itchy. Yeah. And my girlfriend, my girlfriend. Does your penis ever recede into your body? All the time. But all the way where you're like flush, like you're a Ken doll? Yeah. Really? My dick is so small. Could you put your balls, you can rescind your balls. And no, not also, the balls, the balls are there. So your nuts are always hanging out. Yeah. But your penis, you could push all the way in your body. I can stick into my body, wow. right? Yeah, and it just looks like I have nuts. <laughs> but my dick, though, is not the best part of my body. No, no, that's fine. But Are you sure? Cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I use a little cream. Use on a little it. cream to clean yourself up. It's not really the the dick or the sack. It's like in, in between the thigh and the, and that no man's oh, land. Oh, the nifkin. The nifkin part. Yeah. Does Kalila ever shower with you? You guys ever take? We used to together? do that. We don't do it as often anymore. We used to have sex in the shower. Really? Yeah. Like I would lay there and she was, you know, I stick my dick in her. Well, yeah, that's how that works. Is it? Well, I mean, most of the time. Yeah. Do you tub together? Do you ever bath? We used to do it, but not anymore. Why? Why is this all this stuff gone? Because the thing is, is that I, um, and, and she made a good point. In the last year or two, I've kind of let myself go. 
Like I used to keep my, you know, my my pubes tidy. Okay. But now it looks like just Why don't Jay you London, just, clean it up? Me, just crazy down there. Why don't you just clean it up? And I, um, I've gained a little bit of weight. How much? A lot. I've probably gained up probably twenty pounds. What do you I weigh? What do you weigh? You think one seventy five? And you're four six. Yeah, that's not good. And um, yeah, so I think I really want to put make a more of an effort of of changing in that way of improving yourself for her benefit. Yeah, not for you. Yeah, let me ask you a question real quick because something happened today, and I, I would oh, fuck man this thing. I know. What happened today? I'm going to show you. I'll tell you. Hold on. Yeah, is it my, a text if, message? Yeah, if I have my phone. Yeah, where is it? It's, uh, I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to, oh, oh, sh- hold on. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to show you something that happened this today. So it doesn't happen. Yeah, show me. So here we go. So, so here, this is, okay, this is a text. Yeah. Okay, so my agent called me nine days ago. Okay, yeah. Matt. That's how long it takes to get three times. Yeah, I haven't called them back yet. Yeah, you know that's how I'm like. That's yeah. what I'm like. Trust me, I know all too well. Dalia hates it. I just not a phone guy. I fucking hate it too. I hate it. Mm-hmm. And so if you text me and I don't text you back right away, and I, I can show you like, listen, Jordan Peele, he has a new movie coming out, right? Yeah, it looks called great. Us. It looks, it looks great, awesome. right? Yeah. So um, he did get out. If he did get know. out. Yeah. So I texted Jordan. I don't know where it is. It's way back. But I, I texted a long text. I said, listen, if you do a screening for us, Kalai and I would love to go because mm-hmm. I'm huge. I love you and I'm so proud of you and whatnot. Mm-hmm. He never texted me back. Right. Am I personally hurt by that? No, he's a busy fucking guy. Yeah, but it's also right. him sending you a message. What? It's just him sending you a message. It's not sending me a message. It's just saying that's saying like, w- no. it's like, hey, I'm an Academy I, Award winner. You're You're you. That's not, no, no, no. He's, it, I, well, that's not how I perceive it. Okay. Okay. You take it how you want to take it. Right. So then this guy. Did, so your agent said. So, so, I didn't, so I didn't call. So this guy, now this is a di- different guy now. Hi, Bobby. It's, I'm not going to say his name. Mm-hmm. Can I see it though so I can see? Yeah. Hi, Bobby. It's, is there any way I can open for you in March at the Schomburg Improv? I'd be, I've been stuck in Chicago and I want I, I, I want to do props. I have a decent 15 minutes of jokes. It could really use the work. Please help me. I love you. He goes, no props. I just want to, I just, I just talk about, not, I don't know what that means. Let me see. And then, and then, and then a couple days later he goes, can you please call me? I thought we were friends, man. What the fuck? Let me see. And then a couple days later, hey buddy, can I at least come to your show on the guest list and bring my girlfriend? I don't have to work with you, buddy. I just want to watch you perform. Then a couple of days later, hey asshole, I'll see you there. Then a couple of days here, I've not texted him once. Well, he's going to fight you. Actually, I thought you liked me. This makes me sad how you treat people. Mm. And then I texted him today. And this morning you, I had enough. What did you say? Hey, you have, have you lost your fucking mind? Love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I first started have with. Have you lost your fucking, fucking mind? mind? I was going to get back to you when I had time, but I'm super fucking busy. My agent from CA, CA called me nine days ago, and I haven't even called him back. Relax, dude. Relax, dude. And then he goes, Jesus, love you, bud. Sorry. Well, he's the one that started it. Yeah. Let me see who it is. I want to see the name. I don't think you know him. Do you know him? Well, I'm going to try to... Oh, I can't see the name. Uh, I'm not going to... I'll say it, and then you just... I'm not going to blank it out. Okay, here. <laughs> okay, sure. Do you know him? Uh, I'm not on a personal level. But do you, have you heard of him? Yeah, I know who he is. Yeah, yeah. We don't know each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a good dude. Sure. It but was, like, it was Chris Leo, by yeah, the way, for those guys that are listening. No, no. It's Chris. Well, what, why is this fucking little munch can come out every hour? He goes there because he likes the way oh, you I look. I like him. He thinks you're a cutie patootie. Yeah. So wait, but that's but you do that all the time. Yeah. Is that bad? It's nice to send a text and some at some point. How many days worth of text was that? Probably two weeks. Two fucking weeks. Maybe we're gonna have Bobby. It. Send a fucking text. No, no, no. Send a five second. Yo, I'll get back to you. You know what I do? I say, I'm busy. Can we talk later? That's just a nice way of being like, hey, I'm busy. Can we talk later? Yeah. How many texts do you have in your inbox that you haven't opened or answered? No, I open all of them. I right. just don't answer back. Like Jay Davis just said, you available this weekend for the Hollywood Laugh Factory? Right? Nothing. No. Brian Monarch in him. Mm-hmm. But are you calling out all these names? We're not going to black out all these no, names. I don't care. We're leaving them in. I know you're busy, so I wanted to check in again to see if... <laughs> Saturday Saturday might work. Main room. Hot show. <laughs> right? Nothing. Nothing. 
because it's like every week he sends me that. Yeah, but do you think it's but you but they're obviously doing this? It's like they junk mail. You. Oh, th- this is like junk mail to yeah, you. Yeah, spam. It's like spam mail to me. So people sending you text messages are trying to offer you spots on shows. Now, but now with you, right? Mm, well, we had I had a bad exchange with you last week. I got upset, but then I learned about your family issues and I got over it. Yeah, but I was. What do you mean? Well, your your family issues is that your dad is gay and everything's changed. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's divorcing your mom. Yeah, yeah. And all that stuff. Anyway, um. But listen, you got to be better at texting people, dude. You no, should. Okay. You really should. That's a good text. You don't give a fuck. No. When is how's your TV show going? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? Oh, Bobby's on TV show okay, I, I, splitting up together yeah, here's on the, here's, AB, ABC. Yeah, here's the yeah. deal. Yeah, the deal is is this is I just had a, like a month and a half hiatus from it, mm-hmm. and in that month and a half, you kind of leave the show, sure, and you literally go, okay, you start booking road dates, yeah, just trying to figure out how you're gonna get right? some more cash flow, coming. right, yeah. and like because you let it go. Because I, I honestly, it doesn't feel like I'm on a show. But didn't it, but didn't you know it was coming back or no? It is coming back for five more. No, but I'm just saying, like, didn't you already know that before? I did know it was coming back, but oh, okay. I just kind of. But then when I came back, yeah, and I was actually there, and we're doing table reads and hugging everyone and this and that. It, you feel like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, I don't think it's going well. You think the show is bad? I don't think the show is bad. I think that no one's. I don't think enough people are watching it for me to justify me being excited about it. Mm. I love the people on it. Mm-hmm. I love my bosses. I love everything about it. I love my part. But it's like, you know, when you're getting a point eight, uh-huh. how's that going to survive? Tell people what point eight means. I don't even know what that means. I don't think it's good though. How many people? 800,000. Right? Yeah. 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 When we got like a 1.5. That's, that's a pretty last good year. Yeah. That's a good number. It was like, okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. For people that don't know, that's a, a good reference point would be like Johnny Carson would get like 30 million. That's how that's how small TV was back then. There was three channels, four channels. Oh, I mean, dude, back now then. You, now if, if you break a million, that's a big deal. Dude, if I was on like different strokes, mm-hmm. right? As, like as, as the Asian Arnold? Arnold. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> right? So when you were on like different strokes, the day you, the, the night it airs for the first time, the next day, you feel it. You, well, you're famous. You walk down the street. And you're People famous. are stopping their cars. Love the show. Yeah. Right? You can't, you, you go into a restaurant. You don't have to wait in line. Mm-hmm. Right? You literally feel it. Yeah. Now, it's like being in community theater or, it really is. Or being I did on, a YouTube. Yeah. I did, a, you know, a, a semi-popular YouTube video. Right. Right. Kind That's what of, it feels like. I mean, but to, the to, money, though, yeah, the money is, is the same, right? Still, which is great. Well, but but here's something that's a little bit strange. People were getting paid the same kind of TV money in the '70s, which is a little weird. Yeah, they they were making as much. No, they were making a lot. They were. A lot of people were. Oh. Yeah, a lot of guys were making a ton of money, which is why now a lot of those old TV people are so beyond fucking rich because twenty grand back then is worth like 80 grand now as yeah. a nobody TV person. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's, I mean. Yeah, you see a lot of guys like, you know, like I do sometimes NCIS Los Angeles. <sighs> nice. No, I just, just what how, do you mean? How are we going to solve the crime? Yeah, yeah. And Get I play, the little Asian keyboard kid. No, I play an a CIA agent. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, which is funny. You play a CIA. Yeah, yeah. It's you're weird. in it. You're, you're yeah. Star. When I first did it, I'm like, are you sure? The Central Intelligence Agency. Yeah, I'm like this, uh, like a, a, a certain de- department. Like I'm, I'm into janitorial like, service. No, like I'm more of a um, foreign, like money laundering kind of a, guy, a CIA Ooh. guy. Where I know different languages. They have you been like the evil little Korean money? Guy. No, no, I'm just like regular American agent. You're not you. American though. I am. Well, but, I mean legally. But when I, you know, when I see like, you know. The people on that show they, yeah. that show's been on for 10 years forever right? they're making so much yeah. fucking so money, much dude. money yeah it's incredible good for them we should have some but he oh this is what i'm going to talk to you about mm-hmm. and i'm glad we're here give it to me and i'm trying to get this rolling yeah i was hanging out with theo vaughn the other day got it you know him no, do you, no i'll be honest do you like him theo yeah theo no be real hey man yeah do you like <laughs> I love Theo. What do you mean? Yeah, you love him, right? Yeah. What happened? I love him too. Yeah. Did something happen? No. We were talking the other day, and I go, you know, I go, why don't 
us podcasters, you, me, Andrew, Dalia, all these guys, because we all can at Callan, we all can act as well. Yeah. Don't you think that we could get the money to do a movie? It has nothing to do with podcasting. Let's just you know write a movie, a regular script, right? And then just put it out, and then plug it on our podcast. See what happens. And put well, you could put it out through the podcast network. We could do that, or it could be a real credible co- company like Warner Brothers doing sure. it. And then when it comes out, we just, you know, we plug the fuck out of it. Use our audience to plug. Yeah, and we also, um, it can be straight to the, um, iTunes. I don't care. Well, that's, I mean, that's that's probably what it would be anyway, right? Right, but anyway, my, my, yeah, my, but, and also, but also get a credible writer. Sure. A credible director. Sure. Really make a really good movie. And let's just see what happens. Involve all of us. But we involve each, everyone and we give people, you know, just the gang. People send in what you think the movie should be. How about that? Let's do that. Let's have people start sending in what you think the movie's going to be about. Let's, let's, let's give you the, the ensemble is Bobby Lee, Andrew Santino. Brian Theo Callen. Vaughn, Brian Callen. Brendan Schaub. Brendan Schaub. D'Elia. D'Elia Chris D'Elia. Rogan. Uh, Joe Rogan, maybe. No, for sure. Hopefully. No, he will. Okay. He'll play R- the villain. Rogan. Yeah. Maybe Ari Shafir for a pop in would be oh, would Ari be awesome. Ari would be in it. We gotta put some women in there too. Segura, Nikki Glazer. Segura, Nikki Glazer, Kreischer. Christi, Christ, yeah. Um yeah, the whole gang. Zitsky, Christina P. Yeah, so basically what it is is also and we can get like little get we can get like Tiffany Haddish, a bunch of Leslie Jones, we can get people to do it. Our friends. Yes. Yeah. So we'll get a bunch of guests and it's think of this. Yeah. Is remember Caddyshack? Well, I loved Caddyshack. I loved Caddyshack, It's like one too. of my favorite movies ever made. And, you you know, all the people that are in it, Bill Murray, uh, comedian Chevy friends. Chase, yeah. Rodney Dangerfield, just splattered. People sometimes have, in those older older movies like Cannonball Run, people would have one or two scenes. But they were awesome. They were awesome in it. We, we you played to their strengths. Right. So we just do a gigantic ensemble movie. Mm-hmm. Let's just see what happens. But we get a credible script where we... we we were all behind it. Right. Get a great writer. We get a great director, right. somebody that knows how to make a movie, and then we put it out. I think that's it. I, I, mean, given I what, honestly think it would work. Given what's, going on, given what's going on right now, I think that would work. In fact, you know how crazy this is? I was, I, I, before I was coming here, I was uploading some files. I was going through an old drive that I have, and I shot a pilot years and years ago, and it was so, it was so fun, and it wasn't going to go. It was a hybrid of... Um, uh, it was like it was kind of like we all played these characters in a real restaurant, but it was it was real. It was live, but they didn't know. It was crazy. It wasn't like a prank show. It was like we were having these. It was like an opera happening in front of people. I think I heard about this. And it was me, Tiffany Haddish, uh, Monica Smith, Asif Ali, um, Brad uh, Morris. You know Brad yeah, Morris. Yeah, I love Brad. I like. I know Monica too. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Um, Stephen Garino. Uh, 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 Nicole Payone. There were so many great sketch and improv people in this thing. I was looking at all the photos. It was blowing my fucking mind. I was yeah. like, "Wow! If only this could have happened in this time period. Yeah, it would have worked. It just it was it just wasn't right for the time." And yeah. Troy Miller did. I don't know if you know Troy Miller. I know Troy Miller, Miller very yeah. well. Yeah, he's awesome. He he's did great. it. Dakota. Dakota Pictures. Yeah. It just didn't. It just didn't click because the time was weird, and I think CBS was like, well, "I don't even know what this is." It just. It just didn't click. But I've done stuff with Dakota as well that were like more experimental stuff yeah. that I, we actually shot. Yeah. That never went anywhere. Well, we shot this too. I don't know. I have. I don't. Yeah. I never saw it. So yeah, but th- that's not what I'm talking about here. No, I know my. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck it. I mean, no. My point is, we we had a great cast. It was just the wrong time. I'm saying this is a great this idea. This is different. This is a great idea with a great cast. Completely different. It's a good time. Yeah. It's a good because time. Because what I'm for saying this. now, timing is everything. Because before, the, but because that, yeah, are people that you, they became great later. Some of them were great then. They were great then. They were all great. Brad then. was phenomenal. They were all great Tiffany, then. But yeah. in terms of like, Tiffy Haddish. Now she was Tiffany Haddish then, but she just wasn't Tiffany Haddish. Anymore. Right. So what I'm saying is, is that we're doing it with all the people that have an audience now. Correct. So okay. fucking send it in, everyone. That's I'm talking t- Tiger Belly fans, t- um, uh, to fight the kid fans, Ginger Whiskey, Whiskey Ginger fan, like everyone. So what was here's what I want you to do. Put this on your podcast. I'm serious. Put this out. I have. No, but I'm saying, set, t- tell people now to send it. We should make either an email, or or something that people can mail in. Yeah. To say, here's the idea of the film that I think it should be. And I'm yeah. dead ass serious. So what I'm going to do is... But you got to think ensemble. You also mm-hmm. have to, it can't be two guys, you know. 
No. Try yeah. to think more of like it all happens on a boat. Sure. Use the podcast world that you know. Yeah. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make up the email right now. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm hoping this is real, but let's just do, hey, 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 we're going to make a movie at gmail.com. Okay. Hey, we're going to make a movie at gmail.com. You know what I always thought and in my email head? Email that, you, the storyline you think. And I want to say this too, before you even get, I think that what would work, horror would work. Horror is fun. Horror. A comedy horror. A yes. comedy horror would work. Yes. And secondly, um, I could even pinch it to Monkey Paw, which is Jordan Peele's company. I think it's a great fucking idea. And so there are people that we know that we can pitch it to. Yeah. We're credible company companies. So what you're doing, listen to us right now, what you're doing right now isn't going to, if Ari Manis is not in it. Cannot be. He won't be in it. Wow. Yeah. Fuck you, dude. All right. <laughs> Don't ever fucking treat me like that, friend. Hey, go to, hey, 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 we're going to make a movie at gmail.com. <clears throat> I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. And if it changes, I'll change it here somewhere. We'll have someone change it. And if you we do this and hey, you, and you cast movie. Ken Jung over me. I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> hey, are you going to go on the road? Do you want to plug some dates before we get out of here? Um, No. You're good? Yeah. Okay. Well, when this comes out tomorrow, I'll be in Bakersfield. Uh, oh, doing that uh, bar gig? Yes. I love that in gig. In Bakersfield, you better come the fuck out tomorrow. That gig's great. Templar Brewing, it's the 19th, is tomorrow. You better get your fucking ass out. Come out Bakersfield or anybody that lives in centralized California. And then to next weekend, I'll be in Arlington, Virginia, a.k.a. Washington, D.C. metro area at the Arlington Draft House. Go to andrewsantino.com and Cheeto Santino on everything. Bobby Lee Live. Uh, and watch Bobby's <sighs> show on ABC because it's very good. Spilling up to... Especially this... We have a Valentine's episode coming Don't out. Don't spoil it. I'm not gonna, but it's literally I'm in the whole thing. All it's right, about good. my character. I really need help with that one. Support Bobby Lee Live and send an email to Hey, we're gonna make a movie at gmail dot com, and hopefully we'll be able to put it together. Okay. You hungry or no? Yeah, you want, you want to go get food? I think that we should try. Let's go. Okay, bye. Bye. Whisk, 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 whisk. You're that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me five dollars for the whiskey and seventy-five dollars for the horse. Gingers are oh, hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers.